Oh yeah, welcome back to another episode of Feeling It Fridays where I share with you some tracks that I'm really feeling and hope that it inspires you to check out some new music and hopefully uh, get out and dance to the, to the new music. So it's been a while since I've recorded one of these and I think part of the reason why is that I have a lot going on and obviously when I record videos I want them to be something that I want to do because I enjoy it, not because I have to do it. Um, that's part of the passion I think that I have for music and dance is that try to enjoy as much as I can and try to minimize the, the work feeling like the pressure to actually uh, get things done so to speak where I don't enjoy it. So uh, I love doing these videos and I want to try to do more of them so I've decided and this is kind of a longer intro but I've decided that I'm going to try to do my best to keep these things as concise as possible where I'm just going to kind of give you my synopsis, my bullet points about what I'm really feeling with these songs and then, you know, give you a bit of the music so you can then go and enjoy the song and uh, buy the song or, or check it out on YouTube or wherever you can find it to, to listen to it. Uh, that way, maybe I get more time to do some of the other videos that I want to do where I can dance a lot more. I need to record more dance videos and um, yeah, and just get down. It's really nice in the Bay right now. The sun's out. So uh, yeah, I want to get outside more and I want to do more dance and find more music and all that good stuff. Okay, so uh, this song that we're going to be talking about today or actually this album <laughs> or this song, uh, it's off the album Speed of Life by K15 and the song is, um, is Look, uh, Beyond You is the, uh, the, I guess, subtitle of it. Um, Funny story before I get into the song, I actually, when I bought the record from Wild Oats, uh, it's this really beautiful limited edition record, uh, white vinyl, and I put it on and uh, I played the whole first side at 33 RPMs, which is, um, I would say is more common for a 12 inch record that you play it at 33, but the record on the A side was imprinted at 45. Um, so I listened to the whole song and thought, man, this is pretty crazy. Um, and it was actually really dope. I don't know if it made me want to dance, but it was dope. And then I played it again at 45. And that's when I realized, wow, this song is actually really fresh. And maybe they made it and didn't say it was supposed to be 33 or 45 because they wanted people to check it out at both. I don't know. Just a funny story. But now the song. Talking about the groove of the song, first and foremost, if we're going to go down the list of greatness, uh, this song has a very swung backbeat, this very kick drum, uh, syncopated kick drum, hi-hat combination where you don't really get that four on the floor like you get with like a traditional house or disco kind of vibe, but you get that kind of broken beady swung kind of uh, substitute for a four on the floor that makes things very dancey and very bouncy between the kick and I had alone um, the groove is just like so solid and it's one of those uh, types of songs that make you want to uh, at least for me dance wise kind of hop and plant myself around a lot versus kind of just like gliding through the music all the time where it's something that's a little more smooth or soulfully um, but besides like the hop skip jump kind of feel the happiness to the song you do get these melodic pieces with the chords kind of playing these longer sustaining notes where this melody is simplistic and easy enough to follow and it sets a bit of jazz at least the way that i associate it with this dun 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 and it's this melody these long sustaining kind of chords in the background that give us an undertone texture and give us a soulfulness to that skip hop jumpy vibe of what's going on with the the rhythm section you then have this other like very happy uh kind of lead melody that's being played by like what almost sounds like it could be like uh, a moog synthesizer it's kind of this leady monophonic uh, screeching sound this blah, 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 that gets played over the top and that really gives again it reinforces that skippy syncopated backbeat of that hi-hat swung kick drum and even like those congos that I probably didn't mention before or whatever that kind of uh, hand percussion based thing that's going on and this this happiness kind of continues with that sound and it really makes for 
uh, even though it's simplistic in terms of where the energy is inside of the song and there's not all these extra bits to, to fill up all this energy, it gives a lot of energy because of how, uh, how much polyrhythm is taking place and how all these top parts that are being built are all kind of these single stabbing note rhythms uh, versus long sustaining things like you get with the backing chords that are taking place. And as the song progresses, there's this added stabbing sound that's almost like a, a synthesized saxophone or like horn section, which is probably just like uh, some like kind of 80s synth. Maybe it, it kind of sounds to me almost like a Juno or something where it's kind of this stabbing womp 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 womp. And again, stabbing short notes in a rhythmic fashion that add to the uplifting, that add to the brightness over the overall track. And then on the bottom is where we get this big, heavy, heavy uh, synth bass, the sub frequency that starts to now round out the bottom of the track where we didn't notice that there was probably a lot empty missing because we were, uh, you know, and me, I'm listening to it and I feel like I'm floating on top for so long with all these happy pieces that I forgot that there's no like, you know, super meat like bottom end taking place. And that's where that sub comes in. And man, the whole thing is super enjoyable. It's simplistic. There's not like a million things taking place, but it's the melody, the characteristics of the rhythm and the swung aspect of the whole thing that just for me makes it super dancey, gives it a lot of character. And again, I keep going back to this. It makes me feel happy. And I, I latch onto that human emotion uh, much quicker than I latch on to all the technical pieces when I'm critically listening. So uh, the track is called Look by K15 off of the Speed of Life EP or album that was out on Wild Oats. Check it out, get your vibe on. Let me know what you think. If you feel like you need more detail and you need more coming from me, let me know. I'd love to hear it, but I want to try to keep these a little shorter and just give you the goods. And hopefully, like I say, get a chance to maybe dance to more of these tracks and record myself kind of vibing out so you can see how I like it. Yeah, so if you're feeling these videos like I'm feeling this song, let me know what you think. Maybe there's a song you want me to check out. Drop me a line, let me know. As always, I appreciate the support that I've been getting from a lot of you. Let's keep this uh, dancing and music thing going. Uh, peace, Ashe, later.